We've got another interesting exponential problem on the board. We have 3x plus e to the 7x equals 2. And to get started, I want to do something. I don't really like dealing with this addition between here. So what I'm going to do, let's raise both sides to the e. We'll make both sides the exponent of e. So we'll write it as e 3x plus e 7x equals e squared. And what this is going to allow us to do that we can actually break this up as a we can rewrite this as a product actually so we can write this as e to the 3x times e to the e to the 7x equals e squared and then what you'll notice is this is shaping up to be something where we can use the Lambert w function or pretty close to it what we need to do though is we need to have the same we need these two values to be exactly the same. So what I'm going to do, I need to fix this exponent here. For that, what I'll do is let's raise both sides to the 7 thirds power. And I think you'll see that that's going to work out pretty nice. Because when we, we'll split these two terms up. So we'll have e to the 3x to the 7 thirds times e to the e to the 7x to the 7 thirds. And then on the right, we're going to have e to the, just multiplying this in, we're going to have e to the 14 thirds. And for our next step, we're going to simplify our exponents distributing in here. So for the first term, we're going to, when we multiply 7 thirds times 3x, we're going to have e to the 7x. And then for this one here, we're going to have um, e to the 7 thirds, e to the 7x. Just multiplying it in front equals e to the 14 thirds. And what you'll notice now, we get a pretty easy way to fix this because I can multiply 7 thirds on both sides. And now we have matched our coefficient and exponents. We can apply the Lambert W function on both sides. Now, having applied the Lambert W function, we can simplify on the left side. We're just going to have 7 thirds e to the 7x equals Lambert W 7 thirds e to the 14 thirds. Then we can multiply a three sevenths on both sides. That'll cancel there, giving us a one. And then we can take from here, we can take the natural log on both on both sides. I'm just gonna kind of show what we're doing on both sides are like this. But then on the left side, that natural log of e to the seven x is just gonna be seven x. So we're gonna have seven x equals natural log three sevenths. Remember W seven thirds E to the 14 thirds. Now from here, we could actually divide by seven on both sides and be done, but there's actually some kind of like doing a little different kind of simplification on this. Let's just show how. So at this point, we actually could just multiply by seven on both sides and really be done. But I actually want to simplify this. I just feel like this is a little messy having a natural log. Now what I'm going to do is probably not going to be that much better, but I still prefer this. So we'll, let's show how we can substitute it. So we have this identity, number W, X, E, number W, X equals X. And then what I want to do is, okay, we have a number W here. If we divide this E, W, X, both sides, we come up with this just in a different form. Same thing, but we have number W, X equals x over e Lambert w x. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece and we'll use this for a way to change the form out of. So we'll just use this as a way to write this in a different form. Then rewriting all this, we'll have 7x equals ln 3 sevenths our x, which is what's inside here. So we'll have 7 thirds e 14 thirds. And then instead of writing this in the denominator here, what I'm going to do is by the property of logarithms, we're actually going to subtract it because that's the same thing as dividing. And so we'll have natural log E number W seven thirds E 14 thirds. Now from here, we get some nice things we can clean up because three seven times seven thirds is just one. And then natural log of e to the 14 thirds is just 14 thirds. So we're going to have 7x equals 14 thirds minus. And then here, natural log, natural log of e, that's essentially going to cancel. We're just going to have our Lambert w left over. So we'll have Lambert w 
7 thirds e 14 thirds. And so now we can divide by 7 on both sides. Let's do that. And what we're left with is x equals, so 14 thirds minus set, divided by 7 is going to actually be 2 thirds. And then here we can't really do anything to simplify it. So we'll just write our we'll divide by 7, we'll write it as 1 seventh up front. Lambert W, 7 thirds, e to the 14 thirds. I said it's not really very much, it's not really simplified, but I got rid of the ln, so I kind of like that anyway. Now, because we can see this number here is positive, for our positive values for the Lambert W function, we just have one real solution, so this is going to be one real solution. Put this into Wolfram Alpha to get an estimate for this approximate answer, and we got 0.08061 dot dot dot. That would be our one real solution. Got this problem from my quiz, Lambert W challenge. I'll provide a link in the description. Hope you check that out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.